Let's turn back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the Storm Alert Weather Center for a check of our forecast. And boy, you were talking about earlier, this is a near perfect day for this time of the year. Yes, Latrice, I'll tell you what, we've got that sunshine out there. We've got these temperatures climbing. Of course, a lot of folks out on spring break, but uh, let's enjoy it because eventually things will start to change in a big way here in the Tennessee Valley. Let's look at what we've got going on right now with these temperatures. 66 degrees in Cleveland, 65 degrees in Dalton, 63 degrees in Athens. We've got 60 in Blue Ridge and 61 degrees currently in Altamont, 64 currently in Fort Payne. As we look at the temperature change map, you can see these numbers are about five to 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. So you get the idea. Yesterday was very nice and pleasant. I saw a lot of folks walking downtown, going over the walking bridge, driving around on the bicycles, the e-bikes out there, of course. And I think today you'll see more of that as we're going to be looking at more spring like weather here in the Tennessee Valley. So lots of sunshine, just a couple of high thin clouds expected from time to time and a little haze out there in the sky. But overall, Awesome weather is expected with these temperatures climbing in the upper 60s and eventually climbing on into the low to mid 70s out there by the time we get towards later this afternoon. So for any of your outdoor plants on this Wednesday, just a near perfect day expected here in the area. 75 in Chattanooga. How about 74 in Cleveland? 74 in Dalton, uh, about 73 degrees in Murphy, 73 in Dayton and Athens, 74 in Scottsboro and 72 degrees today and Fort Payne. Now tonight we're looking at a mild night considering where we have been. We'll still have a couple of low 40s and maybe a sprinkling of 30s over towards the east, but notice we're going to start to see some 50s showing up off towards the west. That's an indication of some warmer and also some more moist air trying to build in from the south and west. So let's talk about the temperature swings ahead because we've got that southerly flow kicking in. We're talking highs in the mid 70s for your Wednesday afternoon and then notice as we get towards your Thursday even warmer with that southerly flow. We get close to 80 and then we've got this front sliding in and notice the wind switch from out of the south to out of the north and that's going to start to usher in some cooler air by the time we get towards the end of the week there. Now speaking of the warm weather that we have in place, I know a lot of folks asking, is it OK to start planting a little bit? Well, the average last freeze is not until March the 24th and the average last frost is not until April the 4th and that's the average. And of course, we're watching for a nice quick little cold snap coming in by the time we get towards next week. So if I was you, I would kind of hold off obviously on doing any significant planting at least anytime soon until we can get at least probably through the middle of April at the earliest and probably the beginning of May is kind of when I think it's usually pretty safe. Now, as we look at the weather map again, sunshine, a couple of those high thin clouds building in high pressure off to the south and east, giving us that southerly flow for now, and that brings in the warmer air. But you can see our next storm system organizing out in the Plain States right now. We've got a winter side of this system. They're looking at a major winter storm over places like uh, Denver and Colorado Springs, where the snow will be in the feet range out there for them. But for us, we're not worried about the snowy part of that. We are worried about the thunderstorm part of that, which is what's going to be moving our way next. So as we time that out for you again this afternoon, we stay dry here in the Tennessee Valley. Thursday afternoon, we stay dry. And then here we go as we go into your Friday morning. We may have a spotty shower, but rain chances increase as we go throughout your Friday. We're talking rain, the potential of some rumbles of thunder, not expecting severe weather, but that potential of some heavy rain and some rumbles of thunder throughout your Friday. But here comes some good news now trending drier drier as we go towards your weekend, especially both Saturday and Sunday as that front kind of stalls out to our south. So let's keep our fingers crossed. That continues to be the case. But overall rainfall totals again about a half inch to an inch expected here in the region. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast above average temperatures Latrice near 80 on your Thursday just before rain and storms on Friday. But again, look at that good news for the weekend trending drier with those rain chances. Let's hope that sticks around and that's some St. Patrick's Day luck for us.